Okay, we're going to review the Troy Boat 42cc chainsaw. Um, just purchased this from Walmart.com. They sell them at uh, various places, and it's kind of your basic, um, I'd say a starter saw or somebody that's, you know, like myself, that's not cut a lot of wood, but needs um, something with enough power to get through some bigger stuff. I'm just going to go through what the uh, features are and um, go a little bit further into the review. So to start, uh, let's look at everything on this saw. First we have the fill for your fuel, your bar and chain oil fill. On the back you have your on off switch, your choke, your primer bob, and of course your throttle. Flip it around. You have two nuts to loosen up the chain, then your chain adjustment screw. On top here, you have your chain brake. Underneath, you have your bar and chain oil adjustment screw that's in that slot. Then on top, you have your nut so you can get to your filter and it's hinged or you can slowly remove. And it just tightens back down. Now for features I like and dislike. I dislike the bar and chain oil fill being right here. If you ever watch me pour anything, I'm going to spill this. And I just don't like it's on the handle part that it could spill on. A lot of them are right there. I'd rather have it right there than back here. Also, I do like this. Where you just tighten it and loosen that up. One feature I do like is they didn't get fancy with the bar and chain tightening system. You just got your two nuts and you got your screw on the side. I like it on the side versus the front. The front gets kind of marred up. Uh, it gets a bunch of crap on it. I have it on the side. I, I just like how they did that. They didn't get fancy with some big dial. It's just right there and simple to get to. So um, to get this thing fired up, you're going to get fuel in it. Um, they call them for 40 to 1 mixture. If you're not comfortable with mix, mixing fuel, um, you can buy it already mixed. Um, you want to put your barn chain oil in. And also, um, there is a hole right there, and that is to lube that sprocket. So you're going to want one of these. Um, so every time you put fuel and bar and chain oil on it. You want to make sure you just hit that a couple times, keep that sprocket. First initial christening of the Troy bit saw. Took that apple tree down, have no problems there. You notice here the chain had some uh, 
stretch to it. And that's kind of one of the reasons you want to have some type of break in period because things are going to stretch. I'm going to go through right now and um, adjust this and just go through it and make sure there's nothing else loosening up. And uh, we're going to tear in some, some bigger stuff. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. Um, good morning cutting. Uh, this cutting cottonwood here, it cut really good. I was really impressed. I never thought I was lacking power. I'd very be very comfortable putting an 18 inch uh, bar and chain on there. Uh, really never bogged down on this cottonwood. It just cut right through it. For the price point, I'd give this five out of five stars. Uh, anything that I you know, don't like on it, it's just more me versus it's just uh you know i've ran steels and i've ran husk varnas so you know that's kind of some of my viewpoint is so if you compare it to the steels you compare it to the husk varnas you may give it a lower rating but for that price point it's a good saw it's got good power i was been i think i'm really happy with this purchase um, my only complaint is that guy and that guy they don't split wood um, if I can find a way for them to split wood, um, I'd give it 10 out of 10, but good saw. I'd recommend, um, again, uh, no complaints. Mm -hmm.